Uh, welcome, welcome, folks. Uh, man, I don't think I've ever made a video ranting or complaining or bitching about Amazon ever on my channel. And I think we've been selling on Amazon for five years, and I can tell you this year being the worst. And I've, I kind of, I'm just kind of fed up with it anymore. And you know, it's you have no choice to play by their rules, but their rules are constantly changing or they're constantly doing stuff to stifle your sales. Screw the sales over. I mean, I'm having the worst year ever. And I'm going to talk about the numbers. I'm going to give an example of, uh, of a product that I sold and, and tell you exactly what happens. And really, uh, I'm making this video to really just the the... The, just the disappointment it is, you know, I, I see the commercials now, something like 55% of the revenues are provided by third-party sellers, and it, you know, and yeah, I see people post on Instagram, I see people, po you know, oh my God, I'm doing $2 million a year on, on uh, Amazon, it is not as easy as they make it sound, and um, I could tell you at peak, I did $239,000 in 2020 on Amazon, uh, this year I am at $4,000. Um, so yeah, I, I, I'm, what is it? Fabreglass? it? What do they say? Um, I've been wondering, I've been, you know, I, and this is kind of how it started and yeah, it's my fault. You got to pay, you got to pay attention to things. July the 3rd that night I sold two items. Um, one was a VHS, and the other was maybe a book. I don't know. But it was two items, and the total was 29 bucks. Didn't even think about looking at Amazon on the 4th. was just enjoying the day off, and boom, I didn't ship it then. I supposed to ship, I guess, within two days. So because of that, um, it, my account is at risk of deactivation now because it's saying that uh, two out of eight orders, the last, so 66%... Um, and 4% is the target. Now, mind you, I never, I always would take care of it. And, and it's never been like 66%. Like, I'm always on top of it. But because it's been so slow, and again, the I didn't even think about it. And they're constantly changing things. Sometimes you think that you could, um, oh, big deal, I'll deliver this in, in you know, uh, we have three days. Nope. It, it, they don't, they, it, 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 it's constantly changing. So many times, like the VHS, you should be able to sell a media, but because the way that Amazon wants to do the guarantee uh, of you know so many days delivery, even though that they don't they don't they don't care what what when they deliver if it takes longer or not, you know it's you know what are you going to do? It's always past the buck. Um, they'll make you, for example, when I ship a VHS, I should be shipping that for about four bucks. They'll make you try to ship at UPS or or Priority for eight nine dollars. And honestly, if you're selling a ten or twelve dollar VHS and you're after fees, you're making two or three dollars on it. Uh, you know, it it's, doesn't take up a lot of people to say, "Oh, why do you sell it then?" It doesn't take up a lot of space. Maybe you have quantity, and it is what it is. You 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 got it. You got to make your forty bucks to even. So if I sell, you know, sell just make the forty bucks to pay the fee. Um, but basically, trying to double the shipping in that sense, it, it makes it that there is no profit. And I've been wondering, and, and so last night I decided to kind of look at my account and dig into it a little further. Um, and I'm like, well, no wonder this item, uh, another item hasn't been selling. Um, it's ironic. I've been, there's an, uh, there's an item I've been selling. I ain't going to mention it. Um, it's a cleaning item. Um, it, it's been selling. I've probably been selling it for four years on there. I don't make no money unless they buy quantity. So if they buy one order, it's pretty much... So depending where it goes, it might be a ten cent profit to a fifty cent loss in that in that range. But if they buy more than two, that's that's where you make the money because the shipping, you know. Um, I have another item. Again, I've been selling for years on there and um, inactive. Why? You know, it doesn't say um, I'm 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 the cheapest price. I'm actually five dollars, six dollars under what other people are charging. Well, why is it inactive? I don't know. But the one item, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it. That is, and I'm gonna tell you my experience with it. And um, um, I will, um, 
dig into it and show you. And I'm going to talk about a little bit about some of the tricks that people are doing and, and why why would anyone want to run an Amazon that I don't do anything that in, involves risk or being dishonest. So I'm going to cut the camera here because then I'm going to do a screenshot and, and bring me back onto the screen and show you the item that I've had some issue uh, an issue with right now. And, and you know, I'm, I'm just really disappointed because Amazon, I thought, well, you know, I, I, I had realistic expectations. Those people that post a million or two, that's long established. They're scaling. They know how to do it. But I always thought, you know, if, if I sold two to $4,000 a month worth of stuff um, and, and, and made... Fifteen hundred dollars a month for the company, you know, that'd be good. And this, it, 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 I just can't believe just how bad it's gotten. And part of the reason it's gotten bad is uh, the sourcing opportunities uh, for Amazon, what they used to be, are not not so great anymore. So uh, let me let me uh, put this in, and we'll change the camera around. And this is the item. It's called Little Woodsy Honeysuckle uh, Hillside Cottage. Um, this item I was selling um, right now. Uh, I think the you know, and that's the thing with it with Amazon. It's it, it's crazy because Am everybody thinks Amazon's the cheapest. It's not. How many times do you see people? Are bragging? They're bragging on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, whatever. Oh, I, I buy stuff from Walmart and I flip it over to Am Amazon for three times as as, as much. And um, sometimes some people, I just can't believe what they're paying because um, it's just crazy. I had someone recently comment on my video. I was talking about my sales on eBay, and someone said, "Oh, you're you know your your prices are too high." They can go over to Amazon and get something at fifty percent cheaper, and I said that does probably happen sometimes, it, to the point where sometimes, and this is where I'm going to go with this, that I don't know how they're selling it that cheap because they would be losing money. Um, so this item now it says it's not available right here now, but typically this was a ninety nine dollar item ninety nine, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little um, after post edit I'm gonna do a little graphics up at the top. And I'm going to give you guys an idea if you, if you if you if you don't understand. Now, clearly, I don't want to be buying stuff from a store and, and flipping it because uh, the tr traditionally the price of something at a store, you know, that example that I talked about where people say, "Oh, I sell it for two or three times more on Amazon," that's never been my business model. Uh, I, I I think that's to me is is year round is mostly a losing model. The only time that seems to work. Uh, is if someone's chasing a limited edition uh, toy, for example, let's say for uh, you know there's a toy out there for 25, and people are get you know able to flip it right before Christmas for 75, uh, and that's the going average. You know that's you know that's the way it is. Um, I never got into that. I never got into that uh, that type of retail arbitrage. The only time that ever happened was during COVID. When and even then, I was on average selling fifteen twenty-five dollar items and making about five to seven dollars an item, and it was more about people just willing to pay because um, you know um, the convenience of getting it getting it delivered. So um, you know that that was the case there. But I never been one to, and I don't want to say price gouge because no one holds no one holds a gun to anyone's head to to pay anything. So I don't think. Um, I mean, there's just certain things I guess you shouldn't. You know, someone is you know medicine is twenty bucks shouldn't shouldn't you know be paying two hundred for that, it, even though the pharmaceutical companies are, are you know it's just crazy. You, you'll see stories all the time. What could cost like three thousand dollars a month here is. You know, six hundred dollars a month in Japan or other world. So the United States seems to pay the burden. And I think that has a lot has to do with the insurance and government and and what they pay. So here's the the Little Woods Honeysuckle uh, Cottage that I mentioned. Now there's none listed. I I have one, and I had bought last year a, a, a liquidation pallet that these came from Target, and um, 
you know, I, I, that's what I bought. So I was selling them at ninety nine dollars. Now at ninety nine dollars, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put like I said, post edit. Uh, fifteen dollars off the top goes to um. For for me shipping it out FBM because the size of this box is rather big. This is like a twenty by twenty by twenty box. It's a it's a it's a big bulky box. It, you know, it might be eighteen eighteen by eighteen, but it, it, um, oh, okay, it says here uh, sixteen by eighteen by fifteen. So that's exactly what it is. Um, what's nice about it came in. It comes in a uh, it comes in its own box and it comes in the pallet on the pallet. Um, comes in a brown box so i had i had like 20 20 of these and uh approximately maybe maybe 25 so right off the top 15 you're down to 80 84 dollars um the ship this item on average is 30 35 dollars whether you're using fedex or ups usps um forget it you, you they can't even compete um 35 dollars we're down to $49. And if you look right now, that's about what the price is at Target. Um, that's the average price at Target. So obviously, if you went into Target and bought it now and tried to flip it, you know, um, you can't because the, the money's not there. So I I had someone order one and it got sent back. So um, I, I sold it for $99. And, and paid the 15 the 35 got sent back 49 they sent it back because they changed their mind I'm like this is you know and I said to them and it doesn't matter you know I and I don't look there is no book on it you know people say you you could set up your own policies and about returns and there is no magic book on Amazon when you first start out and you know where it's clear cut and says no you have to accept all returns. But from what I understand anymore, you pretty much have to accept all returns unless it's food or a health and beauty item and um, you, uh, even regular returns you have to accept unless if they're open then you can deduct a percentage and stuff like that. But then if it's you know if it's open and damaged you know if you even if you deduct fifty percent you you've just basically killed the value of this item. This item used. And um, I don't know. Uh, let me see. That's a good question too. Uh, as I'm making this video, let me see how much this item uh, it, it actually sells for on um, uh, eBay. Right. I'm working with two screens here. So one a pre-owned right now. Someone's asking twenty eight ninety and twenty seven dollars a ship. But let's look at solds, and then I'll bring the screen over. Oh my god, that is crazy! Wait till I show you this. I I don't even like. How's this even happen? Sixteen ninety nine, free shipping and returns. Sixty six percent off. Uh, accelerating three hundred fifty-two thousand. Who sixteen ninety nine? How is that possible? The list. Oh yeah, it's a Target bullseye. Oh, it's, and it says this item's out of stock. They sold thirty-six. But um, there, I mean, you it, it cost open box like like new. I, I mean, what the hell they get it for free? But even then, with the so they paid eBay fees and, and um. So they paid eBay fees and shipping. I, I don't even know how that. I, I, I can't even explain that one. So that one's the outlier of the. Here's one thirty five ninety nine free shipping again, for forty two forty nine forty nine ninety nine. Um thirty five ninety nine. I mean even then you know thirty five ninety nine. Who was that? And eh, somebody with seventeen. He just again is is. It, that's when you start to when someone has a seventeen feedback, you start to question is is this stuff stolen? Or, or, or uh, what what the hell is going on? And um, twenty one ninety nine. I mean, it, it it's just crazy. Um, forty nine eighty eight uh, feedback of twenty five, forty. Uh, this this one looks like it's even open, but it, is it? Uh, oh yeah, house only. It doesn't have the other stuff. So let's do a. And stay with me, and I'll uh, and I'll, and follow me where we're where we're going with this. Uh, target. All right, search. Hold on. 
Okay, so search. All right, all right, hold on. Let me let me just Google Google this one, and it should come up Target. All right, yep. So, well, what's crazy is. All right, so the one says fifty dollars, and then this one with a hundred twenty-seven piece hillside cottage is eighty dollars. Um, uh, but you see that right here. Now, why is it? Let me show you this. There's none listed, right? None listed, and they're blocking it. Amazon is blocking it, right? None listed. There's none available. And I have one. I have uh, the one that I'm talking about is return. I sold. So on average, um, you say, okay, what did you pay for these? I paid about thirty bucks. So I was making like twenty bucks a piece. So that you know that was okay. That was a a nice little uh, return and stuff like that. Um, these that was a once in a lifetime because uh, I they had ordered too many or something happened and I wound up getting um, around twenty twenty five of them. Uh, so there's none available. But did you see what I did to search? Look, Target, Target. DoorDash, so uh, Amazon. Like, wait a minute, how is it on Amazon if there's none listed? All right, let's click it on. Ninety nine dollars and ninety nine, so a hundred bucks. So mine was red flagged, but this this person's not, and it's being sold by D and D Gaming. But I start looking at further, and I, and you go to dig in, and this is how people manipulate Amazon sellers. Let's go down here. Oh. Oh. It's not in toys. It's a toy. Right? To have it listed in patio, lawn and garden, or agriculture machine spare and report. Now, what the hell? Did, it's not a machine part. Why is it? But they do that. I've seen it in the past already, and I don't know why anybody would take the risk of doing that. And this, and this product only came out actually... So it's funny because it kind of it came out around when COVID was February twenty fourth, twenty twenty. So a lot of stuff that would have been at Target and sold, uh, they, you know, stores were some stores were closed. Walmart was open. I don't know if Target had closed at all, anyways. But people just weren't buying those types of things usually at the store. And um, there was there was obviously a supply issue, and um, these these actually sat in warehouses, and I didn't even come directly from the store when I bought them. So, but I've seen this so many times. Um, yes, yeah, and it says ten pounds, which is not, that. Don't always even go by that. But the dimensions there, um, people sometimes will change that ASIN number by one. You know, it'll end with a Q. Maybe it originally ends with an R, or instead of nine three, it was not it's supposed to be nine two. The manufacturer. So people will why they take that risk because. Um, why would you take that risk, first of all, and then possibly lock up your money or lose your account? Uh, so D and D Gaming, let's click them on. You know, I don't know if you realize is when you look at uh, t to you know that's not Amazon, that's D and D Gaming supplying that, and um, there. Look, they have twenty seven ratings. This is the other. They sell one hundred sixteen items. Uh, well, show their information. Uh, it doesn't. I don't know why. <clears throat> but you know, a lot of times you could click and say, okay, where's that coming from? Um, it has their phone number. It's protected by the A to Z uh, customer service phone number. Um, they have 27 rating. Big deal. Um, I think I have 150 some. Or, or you know, um, I, I'm not quite sure. But my my. Um, now, now I am curious on what my rating. Let me, maybe it's even higher. And then I'll, I'll give you an idea uh, of you know, and I want to give you some backstory of how many, how much items I've sold on there, and um, what um, okay, so D and D gaming has it. D and D gaming has it. Let me log in here, and then I'll tell you. It does. They're constantly changing stuff, so it doesn't make it easy to always find all the information uh, that you that you um, 
think you can find. Alright, let me see what mine. Trying to find. Uh, yeah, again, they don't make it. Okay. So you have to. It, it says other sellers on Amazon. Uh, it's nine uh, on this item that I'm looking up right now. Oh yeah, 120 ratings. I thought I said I said that was about something like that. Um, yeah, 120. I only got one. Um, I I, I have good ratings lately. I don't know why. It says one. You know, um, he said like 90 percent is um, four or five stars. So, but sometimes people will leave in, in, uh, dumb comments, and Amazon will wipe them out and say it's their fault because. Um, you know, they, they shipped them or something like that. You know what I mean? It wasn't, wasn't me. Um, we mostly don't ship in any products anymore, um, to, uh, Amazon just because, especially even more, we're not even, we're not selling enough or the size of that, the, the cost of the storage would kill you. So it even, wouldn't even be worth selling so many times too. I see it like, I'm going to give an example. I could sell something for $10 and they'll say it's priced too high and they'll make it inactive. And a lot of times you don't know. You gotta like you gotta watch it every day sometimes. And um, there's people selling for three or four dollars more. I've had at times that I'm cheaper than Amazon uh, because they dictate the price a lot of times. Uh, and and yet they're, they're making my there's or, or I don't know why all of, like all of a sudden like too I got I have a trailer hitch. Now that is uh oh. Okay, so now the one item got pulled. The, this product has uh, other listing li limitations. Oh, so now I got to get approval. So now I'm seeing something. All right, let me click get approval on that. Request approval. Something that I've been selling. Uh, oh, okay, so now I, I don't know. I'm clicking that on. So, uh, yeah, so uh, an item that I've been selling for. That's another thing is I've never, and this is what I'm going to tell you, I never have created a listing on Amazon. I was selling this cleaning product because I'm just looking at a different screen. There's so many. And when you dig in the, in the back end of it, this ASIN uh, code does not match the, the brand associated to the ASIN. So when I jumped on that listing, somebody else made that. And so apparently that wasn't a good listing. Now, now trust you, four years I've been selling that item. And it says, if you believe in uh, contact, repeatedly creating ASINs for brands you don't have a relationship will result in a removal of... Uh, first of all, I didn't create it. So that's the issue. You you kind of get red flagged or tagged or, 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 or attached to something that could have been an issue. Now, for four years, for four years, this has been going... And, and we're not talking like, okay, this is like, oh my God, Pat, who cares? You sold 100000 you made 50000 This is not nothing. This is not a, a case of that. Uh, um, this... It, it you would think with AI and things that they 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 do uh, they they would know better but um so so far this year business reports yeah this year year to date yeah four thousand one hundred and fifteen dollars and twenty six cents average sale seventeen dollars and fifty one cents. 252 items this year last year at this time are you ready for this $54,437.11 1,846 units um, two of the big uh, 24,000 of that was Legos now they're getting I, I don't think I could sell Legos on there try to try to and I got approved. Uh, I went through Le I went through Lego Corporation, uh, and I got approved. And then I sold. I got. I bought pallets and got a good price and made a chunk of money last year on that twenty four. Now, so did Amazon. Amazon made and those were bigger. These were four hundred dollar uh, Lego sets. Um, I had gotten a CVS pallet that I sold some uh, stuff on. It was great and it was nice because it was a. Um, you know, a lot of times you have to with Amazon if they question they want an invoice. Uh, I I had a um, 
manifest. So it broke it down what the price was it was. And they accepted that. That was fine. Uh, you're not finding that. You're not finding that stuff no more. Years ago, you used to be able to go to Rite Aid and, and buy some stuff that they would clearance out at 75% off. And you basically could buy a, a, a crap ton load of it, get on there, and sell it. And, and um, um, sell it cheaper than what uh, Walmart was because, hey, you bought it at 75% off. Even if you marked it up, you basically could sell for 25% cheaper than what the... Um, you know what the store was and um you know it, it was a way you know there and, and include include it with shipping you know especially small items that were four ounces seven ounces you know uh people would pick them up if they were normal let's say twelve dollars at walmart and you're selling them for 10 shipped and, and you're you know um the ship one is four dollars the ship three was four dollars a lot of times uh on those those low weight items um can't find that stuff anymore. Can't you just can't? Uh, you know, I know a lot of times people like okay, go to Walmart and buy the clearance. Even even the clearance has been crappy lately. Or if they if they do get it, like you know, sometimes it, it, like Walmart's clearance is is a joke because you'll see it like twenty two dollars and and um, you know oh it's twenty one dollars. You know you, you got because you got to factor in the shipping. You got to factor in the fees and. Um, you know, there was just no money there. So, uh, you know, or sometimes the item is just so bad, it's being clearanced everywhere. And clearance prices are not the same at every Walmart. The the, the department manager has the ability to, to kind of make prices up what they own. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen items on clearance at one store, drove 20 miles to another Walmart, not on clearance. Or I've seen items that are $15 at one, and there are five at another. Um, there's no, you know, and um, I, what, you know. But I'm, I'm kind of at a loss anymore. I'm really disgusted on the way, you know, and a lot of times Amazon's a, you know, bitch to get a, a hold of. You know, sometimes you're getting someone that the English, you know, the language is, you know, Philippines call center a lot of times and uh the the language barrier that quite don't understand that they, they sort of have a uh i think they pull up an answer guide that they you know they don't quite get understand the business they're just giving answers that are typed in there that they're supposed to but it's been terrible um i did uh, you know 20 the company did i say i did because it's it's a, it's an llc so we did like 239 um roughly um it, um in 2020 now it might be to be honest 220 might be amazon the other 19 might be other and 21 22 23 about another another so we, we did we did it we did four hundred thousand dollars in the last four years so that's about a hundred thousand dollar average a year last year was only around 50 58 uh let me well let me, let me instead of guessing let me just look at the number real quick what was last year i don't know how far you can go back i wish you could go back and just see all the history and kind of um, but you know what? Amazon doesn't care about that. You know how many times you get on a listing and you're, you're going good and all of a sudden, boom, they, nope, can't sell it. Uh, I had, I had a, I had a person, uh, we were, one of the items I was buying from Rite Aid, uh, called me, called me up basically. Uh, yeah, we did, we did four, $54,437, um, last year. So basically a lot of the sales that I, the comparison that I did, was done mostly in the first half of the year, and that that's about right because in the second half of the year I had a health health issue and um, wasn't worried about Amazon. So, but so last year sold fifty four thousand four hundred thirty seven dollars, eighteen hundred forty six items, uh, thirty five sixty three was the average. So even with those four hundred dollar items, um, it, it came out to be thirty five sixty three. So, you know, I, that, I was still happy with that. You know, uh, I mean, you're not making even at fifty four thousand dollars. You're not you're not making a lot of money um, out of those Legos twenty four thousand uh, because out of the twenty four thousand, the shipping was included in that. So um, I think the the net on the Legos o o was roughly fifteen sixteen thousand dollars. So there was ten eleven thousand dollars in fees and shipping, and a, two or three came back again, changed their mind. And, um, you know, luckily I was able to sell it immediately, but 
you know, it, it, it would that shipping because they charge the ship back too. So not only did I pay to ship the item, um, ship back, and that's not one of those things that you know if someone buys two, you know, oh you're, you're you're making more because the box is too large. You get you have to get separately. No one was doing that anyways on 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 that. So, um, and now to be sitting at uh, four thousand dot four thousand year to date year to date yeah yeah four thousand one hundred fifteen dollars. Luckily, I'm selling on whatnot, but even whatnot's been a grind. A lot of the items they sell on whatnot are three dollars, four dollars, five dollars. So it's even tough making money over there. I started selling on whatnot a little bit more this year, hoping to kind of replace some of the um, uh, the income lost on Amazon. And, and I thought Amazon would definitely be down. I thought we would honestly do around twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars this year on Amazon. It, no, it's it's not looking like it. And um, and again, there's constantly, the, I mean, those cleaning item pulled, the VHS pulled. I mean, those were things that, honestly, if the cleaning item and the VHS, if I sold, even, even if I sold enough just to pay the, the store fee, the 40 bucks, it was, um, that means other stuff that I sold, I made a little bit more on, I didn't have to take the 40 bucks off. So, well, I don't know. And I don't know, uh, no, nobody, nobody's going to give you like, well, hey, Pat, go to this. And, and they're not. Amazon is really... Amazon sellers is no one because people honestly even in the reselling community people are just sabotagers they 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 just hate they they hate to see someone be successful and the you know if you you could go out, they'll, they'll 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 do it at a price like someone will have a $10,000 credit card and they'll go out and buy the item and okay I'm going to undercut by $10 and I know this happens I talked to a lady friend of mine that sell this is about an hour and a half for me, and she said they were in a group, and the one guy would like, oh, what's your store? And she's like, okay, because they're, you know, thought networking told them, and he would do that. He would undercut her prices by like ten percent, and she said something to him, and he goes, oh, I don't care, I'm, I got to move stuff, and so that, you know, that's that's why people don't share stores, that's why people don't share, you know, and if someone's making a million dollars. And, or selling a million, you don't make it. Let's just say even on a low end, they're making a hundred thousand selling games, and they're small. Do you think they're going to share their information and where they're going to cut their own throat and only make thirty or forty? Um, they've and I don't blame them. They've done the due diligence. They've done the work to get there and build that up for years. Why? Why are they going to? Why are they going to cut their own throat? Because, um, you know, with with Amazon, it's it's all about selling. Um, quantity you know buying say 50 of something and then man if you can keep doing that it, that's the problem that i face you know people say well pat why don't you go out a lot of times even if you went to a company you have minimums in other words let's say i want to sell for example if i could sell colgate toothpaste um uh, uh, tomorrow oh well you're gonna have to buy five thousand tubes five, and, and let's say it's ten thousand dollars worth of toothpaste now if there's so many sell, you think okay, I could be on that, right? Let's say I'm on it for four dollars and I make a dollar a unit. Um, somebody comes in, lowers the price. It's like they talk about race to the bottom. Then you can't make it. Or what happens? Amazon or or Colgate says P and G, Procter and Gamble, I think, who make Colgate. Oh, you can't sell it no more. Nope. You, you could be stuck with all that inventory, and you're screwed. Or they, it could be something stupid like, okay, yeah, you brought it from approved supplier, but that approved supplier did something dishonest, doesn't have a relationship with Procter and Gamble or Colgate anymore, and now you 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 can't do, it, you know, and, and Amazon doesn't care, they they don't care, they will they will shut you down that quick, so. Um, I don't know. I, 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 it, it sucks. That's why when people complain, don't bitch about eBay. E, the, you know, the thing is with eBay, you, a lot of times you're selling one-offs and stuff like that. But um, uh, the rules on eBay are much easier than they are uh, on Am Amazon. And they're they're big. They don't care. They'll, they'll cut their own. If you got something that's so successful, they'll turn around, buy it, and sell it. And, and, and undercut you to the point where they'll lose money. They don't care. They remind me of like a gas station that moves in and sells gas 30 cents less than cost just to kill the mom and pop one. Uh, and then when the mom and pop closes, then they up the price and, and, and the mom and pop is done. So, guys, uh, if you like videos like this, and uh, and this is the first, you know, uh, video I've ever made really. I'm not just trying to be like, oh, Amazon's. I like Amazon. 
I like the opportunity. I like being able on a big platform. The the sales velocity that you can do over there, but it, it a lot of things. The the return policy, first of all, is too generous. And, and um, they're they're oh we're cracking down on it. Are you helping out third party uh, sellers with it? No. There, there. I mean, there's times where you lose money because I changed my mind. I mean, I just saw something the other day. I didn't know if you bought something on a wedding registry. Uh, the the bride and the groom can return that for six months, six months. So you you could be the person that sold them something on that weather and and five months and you know and, and it's just devastating to it to small businesses in a you know account or you know one one little thing you know they 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 don't care they could shut you down freeze up your money and you're done. Um, and they don't even contact me. Hey. Uh, Mr. D's, why why is your sales not? Is there anything that we can do? It used to be nice because you used to be able to even get a little little loan from them for like a thousand or two thousand based on your sales. Well, now that my sales have crashed, forget it. You can't get no kind of loan on 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 that because they're, they're, the average now is terrible. You know, I went from basically a twenty five hundred dollar average last month to, to uh, what four hundred fifty dollar five hundred dollar average. Uh, maybe a little six hundred dollar average. Okay, big deal. But six, you know, at six hundred dollars a month, you you you're, you figure half is gone, and um, so if you're looking to sell on Amazon, you might want to rethink it and do your homework. Don't just jump at it. Cause remember, I talk about the people that go. That's another thing. People call ten thousand dollars on their credit card. A lady goes, oh, I want to sell ten thousand, honey, and their husband's like, Yeah, sure, we got, you know, yeah, this is perfect. And before you know it, they're selling that ten thousand dollars worth of stuff. They're selling it for seven just to get out from under it, um, below uh, everybody else's cost. And, and uh, that that and then this one drops it. This one drops. And before you know it, they're 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 taking a five thousand dollar loss and saying, Oh well, losing five thousand dollars is better than losing the whole ten thousand. Not a way to run a business. So guys, give me thumbs up, comment below, and tell me what you think. Bye. <laughs>